What's up guys, Matsuko Films here. Welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. Today, I'll be reviewing set 75333, Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. This set comes with 282 pieces. It is recommended for ages seven and up, and it comes with three minifigures being R4, P17, Obi-Wan Kenobi, as well as our first ever Kamen Owen, Ton Wei. You got the Kamen Owen box art on the front of the box. Although this is a prequel set, you do have the Darth Vader on the bottom, meaning that every single Skywalker Saga set does have this Darth Vader box art, although that is also a bit inconsistent because the ATTE is also from Revenge of the Sith, but it has Clone Wars box art. So I guess it really just depends on the set, depends on Lego's mood, I guess, when they are making a set. But nice, again, Kamino and box art in the front, as well as on the back here, where you have Obi-Wan, Tonaway, and R4, and then they're chilling in front of the ship. You also have all of the play features, and then you're basically on the landing platform on Kamino. So this set does have two thumb tabs that we are going to use a knife to cut into, and then we'll see what is inside of the box. And there we go. And... Okay, so you get three numbered bags as well as a sticker sheet with a bunch of stickers. Looks like maybe 13. And then my second ever encounter of the brand new redesigned instruction booklet with no box art or anything, just this white background, which I don't know if I'm a fan of. I think I liked the box art instructions a bit more. This one just kind of feels weird and incomplete. Let me know what you think of these new instruction booklets down in the comments. But yeah, let's build this anyway, set up. The first minifigure that we get in this set is Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is a great minifigure. I think it is definitely underrated. I love the printing on the legs and the body and even the hip piece. And even though they didn't include a cape, especially when you put on this hood piece, which I will do that in a moment. It looks kind of weird, but overall, when you don't have the hood piece, it looks pretty cool. Here is the back of the minifigure, just some back printing and stuff. And you also have a secondary facial expression and you can put the hood piece, as I said, onto this minifigure. And it might look a little bit weird, but it still works. The next minifigure that we get in this set is Ton Wei, our first ever LEGO Star Wars Kaminoan. And overall, this is a really cool figure. I think the neck is a little bit too short, but overall, the minifigure itself is pretty good. You got the great printing on the body and this like skirt or dress piece, which looks really good. You also have the back of the minifigure with some more printing on the back of the dress piece and the body. So overall, really nice minifigure. Again, my only problem with it is that the neck might be a little bit too short, but still a really nice Our minifigure. final minifigure that we get in this set is R4P17. And I was pretty disappointed with this minifigure. It's a good minifigure. Lego has basically perfected the droid design. The only thing they could add to it is that third leg and back printing. Now, some droids that came out before this, especially R2-D2 in the 18 plus sets, they did have back printing, but this minifigure is missing the back printing. And that's what I was expecting like, oh, they are doing back printing for R2-D2 in a bunch of these 18 plus sets. I think they should definitely throw in the back printing on Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, but they didn't. So I was a little bit disappointed about that, but overall still a nice okay, Moving on to the build of the set. 
I don't have many problems with this set, but the one problem that I have with the build is the front. I think it should be a little bit more round and not like one flat plate. I think that would it would look better and be more accurate if it was like more rounded off maybe. But that's really the only thing that I have a problem with. So yeah, starting off with the front here, we do have this sticker piece, which is cool. And just do that. And the side of the ship, you have two stud shooters on both sides. These are the new stud shooter pieces. So you can fire those off like that and like that. And you also have a bunch of stickers here on the sides. Right here, you have just a bunch of like white details and stuff like that. And one thing that you can do, which is cool, is it comes with this antenna piece and you can just attach it onto the ship to recreate that scene from Attack of the Clones where Obi-Wan is contacting the council, which is really cool. And you also have this piece, which if you wanna take off the antenna, because it'll be easier to fit. Here you can put R4's head to put it in an accurate position. For the first time in a Jedi Starfighter, the head of the droid is on the side of the ship and not on the middle. Obviously, it is the accurate position on the side. So, really cool that they added this feature. Here on the other side, you just have this Republic sticker replacing the spot for the droid and some more white details. On the bottom of the ship, you have this landing gear right here where you can just open that up and do that to put it in flight mode, which is obviously really cool. Nice detail there. And on the bottom of the ship, you do have a clip for Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber. You can just clip it on there once he is inside of the ship, which is nice. And then while we're here on the bottom, you also have the two engines, which is also a cool detail. Now around the cockpit area, you have a bunch of stickers. This area alone feels like building a Speed Champions racing set because of the amount of stickers that you have on this set. I feel like if they could have at least printed a few of these pieces you come with like 16 stickers in total which isn't fun to put on especially on these like rounded pieces i guess so there's that the cockpit piece is really nice you can just open it up like every cockpit piece and inside you have this right here which is this control panel you can easily fit obi-wan kenobi in there just like that no problem and close them up inside the ship which is nice and the final thing right here you can open up this and inside you can fit r4's body which is a nice detail they definitely didn't need to add it but i think it's fun that they did so that you can just place the droid's body inside of the ship and not have to worry about maybe losing it while you're flying around so that's a nice detail that I appreciate. But that is the build of the set. Hey guys, that is it for this review. Let me know what you think of Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter down in the comments section below. Did you get this set? Do you like it? Maybe you don't wanna get this set. Maybe you were hesitant and after watching this review, you decided to get it. Let me know down in the comments. And also, while you're down there, drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more LEGO Star Wars reviews just like this one. And yeah, overall, I think I'd give this set a 9 out of 10. Probably one of my top 10 favorite sets that came out in 2022. So yeah, with that said, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.